What's going on everybody, this is Brendan, Dad Planet. Welcome back to the One Man Show. So today was supposed to be Goodwill Bins Day and I actually went up there, but as you'll see later on in the video, the plans changed very quickly. So we hit some retail stores and as always, I'm going to take you along for the ride because I like to feature the items while I'm shopping in store in hopes that you will find the same items or similar items at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, wherever it is you do your sourcing. But let's talk about what the One Man Show is really quickly. It is just me essentially doing all of the work in the business without employees. And I feel like some people might be like really discouraging some of you and making you think that you absolutely can't do it. And so even though I work for myself full time, I only work my eBay store 25 hours a week. That's a very part-time basis and it's a, basically a full-time income on a part-time basis if you're looking at it through a very critical lens. So I don't want anyone to discourage any of you, whether it's a significant other, or whether it's people in comments, or whether it's your own whatever talking to yourself, it absolutely can be done. And I mean, I have to work around kids too, and those of you that have kids know how just how difficult that is. So I don't wanna hire employees. It's hard enough to manage children. The last thing I wanna do is manage adults. I've been there and I've done that, and so just, to encourage all of you who are kind of on the fence or afraid to or are hearing people tell you that it can't be done, uh, no, you can look right here and very clearly see that it can be. So I want to encourage you to take those steps forward, stop listening to the naysayers. Anyway, let's go shopping. I got a lot to show you, an item that I finally found. It took me, what, three years to source this in stores. I finally found it and then an auction banger at the end. Let's get moving. All right, this first product here is a product that nobody needs, but everybody wants. It's the Golden Girls. Actually, I shouldn't say that. It's a sunshade, so it's a utility. It has a function. They only want $3 for it. We lost a national treasure in Be Betty White. Um, I think that was at the end of December. And um, there is actually a sold comp for, I think, around 40 with free shipping on that. So I'm going to pick that thing up, and I'm going to price mine at $30, and they only want 3 for it. That is just a fun find. And you don't see those that often. And the sell through rate looked pretty decent for those types of things. So that was a good pickup. Big Green Egg, always look for their accessories. Now this is a dual probe. And this was a mistake that I made. Unfortunately, I saw it and I you'll see me like just barely open the package. But, and it looked brand new. In fact, some of the items, those items that you see there are totally untouched. The batteries are also in there, but it's missing both of the probes. So that would have been a phenomenal pickup at five bucks. But as it stands, I'm, I have mine priced at $11 and then we have to just hope and pray for the best at that point because it's missing a key component. So that was super annoying. But listen, we all make mistakes uh, and I'm not afraid to show them to you. So next item I pick up here is a Body Blade Classic. I honestly, I don't know how you use this, but the list to sell ratio for these, 54 currently listed, 127 sold in the last 90 days. So this is gonna go between 40 and $50. They only want four dollars for it and shout out to you mary for all of the bubble wrap that you gave me that big tube i'm going to be able to fit it in the tube you know when you run out of the bubble wrap there's like that cardboard tube in the uh right in the middle of it that is long enough i think to ship that body blade um whatever the heck that thing is so thanks mary i really appreciate it that makes my shipping easy i saw this yeti this thing was not in good condition and it had jack on it i buy by brand before i buy by style but this one did not look and feel, even on the inside, like it was worth picking up, even at $3. I mean, at best I could have got 24, but I didn't, the condition, you know, maybe it looks a little bit better on camera than it did when I picked it up. So I passed on that, which is not something I would normally do, but I just was not convinced, just looking at all of the components, the lid, the interior, all that stuff, that that thing was worth picking up. And I'm almost certain that it is long gone by now. Somebody probably saw Yeti and scooped it up. And if you just wanted to use it for personal use, that's wonderful at $3, that's a great a great deal. It just didn't feel right to me, so I, I let it go. And I drink out of Yetis often. So next item here is obviously a baseball bat. It's a Demarini Voodoo. The model number is VBX-17. There are no solds in the last year on this bat, but this was like a $200 bat. And it's a smaller size, it's like 16 by 26. This was a bat that was like $100 to $200 brand new. So I'm gonna take a chance 
and list this thing for $100. It is in fantastic condition. And we are still selling baseball bats. It's going to slow down a little bit here as baseball season kind of carries on and we get into the August and September months. But I like that because there just are no sold comps. And for two bucks, it's definitely worth me taking a risk. All right, next one here. King Cobra Baffler Pro Club. The list to sell ratio on these is pretty good. 26 listed, 29 sold. I'm going to price mine probably right at the top half at $35. Clubs, loose clubs like this in the store are a buck 99. So I'm going to grab this one. The fact that there are 30 sold in the last 90 days tells me that even though it looks like an, a little bit of an older club, that it was definitely still worth picking up. And then this next uh, club here, you will see as soon as I figure out how to get this thing off, is a white hot pro Rossi putter. And I don't really, again, I don't know a ton about golf, but this has a super stroke grip on it. And there's a couple currently listed, I think one in the 70s and one in the $100 range, but there was a sold comp, I think around, and I'll put it on the screen for you, for $125. So I'll price mine, I think between 75 and 100 bucks. Again, it's only gonna cost me two. And if I'm gonna make an error there, I wanna err on the high side because even though golf is evergreen, it's still selling very quickly right now. So those were two pretty good pickups, I think. And the next one is a Chrome Blender from Osterizer. The model number on this one is, I think it's 4094. I forgot to write it down, but I will pick this thing up and let's take a look. Yeah, 4094. List to sell ratio, 55 currently listed, 42 have sold in the last 90 days. I've actually sold this Beehive style Chrome Blender before, so I know it is going to sell. They want $8 for it. I'm gonna price mine between $40 and $50. Obviously that is a glass blender, but I have bought and sold and shipped these before, so I know it is just a matter of time. So even at $8, I still think that that's a fantastic find. I mean, you know, relative to the prices I've been paying for some of the other things that I featured in this video, that's still pretty low. So um, just checking the racks here to see. Actually, if you look at the bottom, look at that red quesadilla maker. I, this is one of the first things I bought for resale. If you don't have one of those, grab one. They make the absolute best quesadilla. I'm not even kidding you. Uh, I still have it and I still use it. So sorry to get off track there, but do yourself a favor and grab one if you see it in the thrift. All right, Lululemon. This is a, I think this is a breathe it in bra. It's got like a mesh top, like a, a mesh portion. You see that right there at the top? Sorry, ladies, I'm. this kind of stuff is not my wheelhouse, but. Lululemon, I know it, I pick it up. Even at $7, this is not a huge money maker. I might be able to get $25 to $30 for it, but it's in fabulous condition. It looks great. Um, I'm sure it will look beautiful on you when, you when you put it on. And then I thought I had another Lululemon item right here, but I couldn't see the logo anywhere. The quality was very high and I could have chanced it, but with no logo on it, I, I didn't wanna risk it. Maybe I just didn't see it, but I left that piece on the rack and uh, moved on. That was the only pickup I think I could find in this store. And yeah, I, I could have grabbed this Levi's uh, denim jacket, but what do they want? They wanted $13, which you know maybe if I could get 45 for it, it would still be pretty good. But I left it, went over to the uh, to another store here. These Tilly hats are a bolo. This is the T3 style. It is white, but you'll, you'll notice, see it's grommeted. Uh, it has no laces. So while this is a $50 hat, if you've got the laces, even with the little bit of like sweat marks, pick these up when you see them because they will sell. They are great sellers. I'm gonna have to price mine at $20 as somebody that just wants to replace theirs for a, you know, a little bit of a cheaper price. They're like 80 to $130 brand new. So even at $20 with no laces, uh, that's a pretty good value for that hat. And I've sold one or two of them in the last 12 calendar months. And I think I, I think I sourced both of them at the Goodwill bins, the Goodwill outlet. So that's a bolo to put on your list. Tilly hats are great. And again, I'm not afraid to pick it up uh, even without the laces because it's a great brand. It's a very high quality product and I know it'll sell, so. doing a little cart wars here to see if there's anything else I can find in this location. It's been very sporadic, hits and misses, nothing, no no huge like amounts of consistency with the stuff they've been bringing out on carts lately and I'm, I'm like in and out quickly. So last thing here, so this is the first time I will have sold a Black & Decker Space Maker. If anybody has any tips on how to clean that a little bit, like get that stain off, let me know. I mean, it's just 
hard plastic, but the model on this is ODC325. 62 currently listed and 86 have sold in the last 90 days. This is, a, this is no risk for me because the piece right here, this water reservoir, I can sell that between 20 and $30. And so what do they want for this? So I'm gonna take a look. They only want $5 for it. So I will clean it up, plug it in and test it. And if it works, I'm gonna list mine and sell mine for $70. But even if it doesn't, that is a $30 reservoir inside. So that's kind of a no, a no risk pickup right there and kind of exciting for me to find my first space maker. And it's not the only space maker item or product that they make, they have other others. But uh, that was a great one. Some bonus footage. I forgot to show you these. I actually these are rolling out on a cart at one of the other stores. They what are, what's the price on that? They are nineteen dollars. Can you guys see that? Anyway, these are brand new Doc Martens. They are what? Blair black hydro leather. Look like platform sandals. They are U.S. size eight. Where these come from? Journeys. Oh, interesting. Um, they are brand new. They have never been worn. At least it doesn't appear as though they have. They don't have any like buckles other than this one right here. I don't know, interesting pair. I'll probably list these between $80 and $100. They've got the box, got the tissue on there. So that was a pretty good pickup too. I don't mind paying up for Doc Martens. These are, you know, definitely going to sell at some point. Uh, and I thought it was a pretty cool style. All right, nap time is officially over. So I hope you guys enjoyed those. I got one item to show you left, but if you total everything up from those trips that I took, I only spent $60 and I stand to do just under $600. I think it was $596 to be exact. So those were some really good finds in a like hodgepodge of trips to the thrifts. I actually went to the bins today and they didn't have anybody that was doing any of like the back work. So they weren't pushing the carts out and you know, you make that drive and it's like, ay, ay, ay. So I had to shift gears a little bit, still found some nice things and I hope you enjoyed that. But we got one more left. Let's take a look at this last item that I won at an online auction recently. All right, the Green Hornet, quick switch game. I won this on an online auction and I paid up for it. So I paid $160 for this game, but there is a recent sold comp that sold at auction for just over $380. So this is in uh, pretty good condition. It has all of the pieces and the, even the box is in great shape. All the corners, no tears. Uh, this game is apparently hard to find. And at $380 at auction, I have mine listed again. On the high end, I have it listed at $450. But you know, when you're slow, if the stores are slow, don't be afraid to pay up a little bit and try to source online. I you want to start with high bid. Dot com that's h i b i d dot com and then just sort your i believe your zip code and you can start there there should be multiple options in most of your areas but 1960s green hornet game pretty hard to find 450 dollars uh, i have this listed at let's hope that thing sells you ever feel like your sales skills are lacking just ask your kids if they're anything like mine they simply will not take no for an answer. So, okay, we're going to go to the park. Be careful what you wish for. It's like 150 degrees today, but we'll go and do the thing. So, Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today. And then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. That's it. That's all I got for you. It's time to go play with the kids. I'll see you in the next one.